In this video, we are going to talk about the most valuable financial assets you will ever have. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Financial assets are liquid assets whose value is derived from a contractual claim or ownership in an underlying asset. Stock equity and bank deposits are examples of financial assets. Valuable financial assistance guarantees a positive cash flow, recurring revenue, or consistent income. Every financial asset has its own set of needs. Some need a larger initial expenditure to get started. Others, on the other hand, demand an average amount for investment upkeep. Investing in a valuable financial asset is equivalent to earning money while sleeping. Anyone may expand their revenue streams by using good investment tactics and preparation. Let's look at some of the most valuable financial items you'll ever own. 1. Savings accounts with a high-yield online savings accounts are much superior than conventional bank savings accounts. Traditional bank savings accounts do not provide greater returns than internet savings accounts. Cash management accounts are a hybrid of a savings account and a checking account. They may pay interest rates comparable to savings accounts, although they are often provided by brokerage companies and may contain debit cards or checks. Savings accounts are the only viable alternative for short-term savings. Sometimes you don't need money all that much. You may need it on occasion, such as in an emergency or for the vocational fund. Savings accounts are the greatest option for this. As a result, internet savings accounts provide flexibility as well as greater interest rates. Savings accounts should be open with robo-advisors and investing firms. When compared to conventional accounts, online accounts always provide better rates with more flexibility. 2. Internet-based companies It is preferable to proceed slowly yet efficiently. Online enterprises are lucrative places to put your time and money. Starting your own company online is the most common approach to be self-sufficient. Online enterprises allow you to be in charge of your own setup. You have complete control over your working hours and vacation time. You may manage them at any time and from any location. Although establishing an internet company is difficult, you must put your whole effort to it. However, the revenue generated will be more than the time and effort invested. Online enterprises do not emerge overnight. It takes time to establish itself amid thousands of other internet businesses. A two-year time period may be required for the proper operation of your internet company. You can reduce the time it takes to succeed by putting out effort and perseverance. Online companies include blogs, e-commerce shops on platforms such as BigCommerce or Shopify, and even selling on eBay and Amazon. You will be able to devote less money and effort in company management while still producing income over time. Finally, you may sell your internet asset or maintain it as a secondary income source. 3. Stocks and equities stock is a valued financial asset that generates revenue. They may offer a consistent source of income to assist you in meeting your retirement goals. Stocks are the most effective strategy to create and develop money for the future. It would not be incorrect to call equities the king of all assets. Profits from stocks are not just exceptional in one nation. If we go back in time, we can see that stocks have never failed in terms of producing consistent and long-term gains. Stocks are the ideal assets to invest in, since they need no ongoing upkeep on your part. You must invest in and own a company. Someone else will run the firm in your place. However, you will undoubtedly reap the benefits. The process of purchasing stocks is straightforward. You must choose between individual stocks and funds. When you buy a fund, you have access to a greater range of stocks. Different people have different ideas about purchasing stocks. The size, worth, and price fluctuations of stocks are all disputed by experts. Dividends are the earnings received as a shareholder in a corporation. Some investors choose to invest in firms that pay out regular dividends. So, if you have a substantial stake in a firm, say you own 5% of one that pays out $1 million in dividends, you will get $50,000 as a result of this. Isn't it fantastic? Dividends are paid by companies in a variety of areas, including financial services, healthcare, oil, gas, and utilities. Fourth, bond stocks are a higher kind of cognition. The bond market has become a little more tranquil. A bond is a debt that an investor makes to a borrower for a certain length of time. The investor makes a loan to the borrower under certain stocks are a higher kind of cognition. The bond market has become a little more tranquil. A bond is a debt that an investor makes to a borrower for a certain length of time. The investor makes a loan to the borrower under certain terms. The borrower makes periodic payments to the investor, such as coupons, before paying the whole amount. 
borrowers might be a company, a person, or the government. When investors discuss bonds, they generally refer to bonds or U.S. Treasury bonds in which the U.S. government serves as a borrower. Aside from U.S. Treasury bonds, foreign government bonds, municipal bonds, and corporate bonds may also be purchased. These bonds provide higher interest rates than U.S. Treasury bonds, but they are riskier investments. U.S. Treasury bonds are secure because the U.S. government has the ability to create any dollar it owes at any time. Anyone who borrows from them has a virtual assurance that they will be repaid. This service is not provided by any other foreign government, local government, or enterprise. Bonds are simple to get. Individual bonds may be purchased, but bond funds are a better option since they are simpler to manage. Aside from the sorts of bonds, it is advised that they be purchased. They may add value to your portfolio as well as generate growth. 5. Vacation rentals investment aside from bonds and equities, vacation homes or investment properties are considered an income-generating asset. Having an investment property may be advantageous since it gives a location where you can relax while also earning some additional money. If you plan effectively and maintain the property, you will also get assistance from those who will pay the mortgage and you will have the added benefit of enhancing the long-term value of your home. Furthermore, because of the increased leverage, if you could borrow money to buy the property, your return would be somewhat higher. If you're thinking it's too good to be true or that it sounds like a fairy tale, you're right. There are various advantages to owning a holiday rental, but it also takes much more work than other assets that can be set and forgotten. The capacity to engage with people, provide constant upkeep, and much more is required for the vacation investment property, all while dealing with the added weight of having an additional obligation on your balance sheet. This may be a joyful experience if everything is on track and going well, particularly if you borrowed a large sum of money to fund the purchase. However, if things go wrong, as they will in 2020 due to the epidemic, things might become much worse. While the earnings on these may be substantially higher than those on shares and bonds, they also need significantly more effort. Sixth, Farmland Farmland, in addition to real estate, is a terrific income-producing asset that has been a critical source of wealth creation. The main argument for investing in farmland is the low correlation with stocks and bonds. Farm revenue is unrelated to financial market fluctuations. Furthermore, farmland is less volatile than stocks and protects against inflation. Farmland, unlike individual equities and bonds, is unlikely to fall to zero, owing to its asymmetric risk profile. However, climate change may have an impact on it in the next years. According to Jay Gerardo of Capital Allocators podcast, farmland is likely to return in the high single digits, with roughly half of the return coming from increases in land values, as well as agricultural production. While owning individual property is a major commitment, investors might choose the most common alternative of purchasing farmland via a publicly traded REIT or a crowdsourcing solution like FarmFunder or FarmTajather. This option provides you with more control over the agricultural assets in which you have invested. The problem is that crowdsourcing platforms such as FarmFunder and FarmTajather are only accessible to accredited investors. Furthermore, the fees levied by these crowdsourcing platforms may be higher than those levied by traditional investors. 7. Peer-to-peer -peer lending Peer-to-peer -peer lending, like bonds, is a fixed income investment in which you lend money to people who will reimburse you over time. Individuals are often less creditworthy than businesses or governments. As a result, the interest rates on these loans are often much higher. However, higher interest rates do not automatically indicate higher returns. The reasoning for this is that higher interest loans are riskier and more prone to fail than lower interest ones. The returns shown in the far right column are generated by balancing the rising interest rates against the expected growth in borrowers' defaults over time. Also, bear in mind that these returns are applicable to all loans in a given credit grade. The results might be unpredictable. That's why services like Lending Club make it so simple to diversify by lending to hundreds of individuals at once. The primary downsides of P2P lending include the lower returns when compared to other risk assets, as well as the hidden hazards that may be contained inside these assets. However, these are simply concealed risks since there isn't much historical information on P2P lending. This means that, under unexpected situations, these loans might become unpredictable. As a result, they are the most valuable financial assets to evaluate. There are also various options for diversifying your assets and increasing your income. Whatever mix of income generating assets you pick, bear in mind that there are different methods to succeed in investing. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below.
If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.